Hi guys, Father Mike Leitner. I'm here at, uh, let's see, St. John's, St. John the Baptist. And uh, that's my floating head. You can see the sanctuary, quite beautiful. And Our Lady on one side and St. Joseph on the other with the baptismal. So I'm gonna do a walkabout here uh, to use an Australian phrase. And just some of the saints that uh, they have here. They have beautiful saints and statues. Here on the right side with a, uh, a blessing from St. John Paul II um, on the parish itself. Um, Father Jerome, uh, what does it say? Wardy, who was the pastor at the time in 88. But we have the first statues here. Um, and that is St. Peter. And directly across from him is St. Paul. So the first Holy Father. And I think it's, uh, we have the popes here uh, around um, St. Peter, which is kind of cool. Just to take you a walk about, we have beautiful stations of the cross as well. Uh, just gives you, gives you an idea of kind of what they look like. Uh, beautiful reliefs. But what I want to do is look at the statuary today a little bit and just a short little message to those uh, that may be interested. This is a very cool alcove. And behind it, they have the baptism of Jesus. And that's John the Baptist. And he is, uh, he is baptizing Jesus at this point. So uh, beautiful little statue there. There's one up above it who is uh, St. Teresa of the Sioux. Um, beautiful statue there, St. Teresa. And so to continue on our little walkabout uh, through the church, very beautiful architecture here. As you can see, the vaulted ceiling is kind of more of a, a dome shape. Um, old Polish church, beautiful Polish church. Um, and here we have behind us uh, Jesus, the Sacred Heart. I want to get a pedestal made for him. He's a little low. I don't like looking down to Jesus, so I always like to look up. And here we have uh, St. Sanisław Koska, and he is a Polish saint, one of the many. Um, and he is a favorite of the church here at St. John's. And now we come to uh, another statue of St. Agnes, which is a beautiful statue as well. Um, pretty rich in statuary here at St. John's. I think uh, my predecessor, Father Piter, did a great job in that. This one is St. Catherine of Siena, very powerful saint um, who called, you know, uh, the Pope back to Rome. And she was a, a scholar as well. Here, Next, we have, uh, I believe it's St. Francis of Assisi. Yeah, I always get, I can never tell until I get up close if it's St. Francis or St. Anthony. St. Anthony's always, uh, he's always shown with the child Jesus. And St. Uh, Francis is always shown with the dove. Uh, the next one is over the confessional, which is beautiful, beautiful as well, is St. Anthony. It says you can see him up there um, high in the church. Um, so he looks over him and, and St. Teresa look over the church. And we have just one more of St. Paul, which is directly opposite of St. Peter. I'll give you a final view of Blessed Virgin Mary. Who, uh, it's a beautiful, large statue, about six, seven foot. Here is St. Paul. Um, in the church here. So the statuary and, and the, the, um, the uh, stained glass windows are absolutely beautiful here in Menasha at St. John's. And look at that paint job below it. It looks like sunbeams. But you can get an idea of some of the stained glass windows as well. Um, as I can show you, the light's coming through pretty well. But they are absolutely gorgeous. I wanted to give you a little tour of, of St. John's as well uh, for those that are interested. 
uh, we are about to start adoration. Uh, so I'll have to cut you off here and I'll be in confession for the next hour. So if you need to go to confession, uh, we're on to Pure Street in Menasha. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.